there, is there a rural community in LA? I think here in New York, sometimes we think of LA as more sort of scattered, and you know, here in Brooklyn, there's all this cohesion, and you know, it's but, like that. It, yeah. Where we live, it's yeah. Like that. Yeah. East side. Like yeah, you definitely can go to like a potluck and see them. Yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Party. Well, one LA guy that you touched on earlier that I, I before we run out of time I want to ask you about is John for Shante and how this that came about that he worked on the EP. Did you was that through Josh? Or um John I used to go out with John for a couple of years. Um so he when the band you, was really just getting started, he was just really supportive. He came to all our shows and um, just really liked what we were doing and was really just excited for us. And uh, so when it came time after we had produced it, he, he just had so much passion and invested interest in the project and really knew what we were going for. So he offered to mix it and put it through. You know, he's got like a really nice board and really he has his tape machines and, and just so much great gear that it really warmed up the sound. He really liked the idea of like the Brian Eno talking heads collaboration uh -huh. idea for him. Right, you know? right, right. And, you know, we gave him a lot of free reign, but we were really involved with it and it was great. He even would come in and do sound at some of our shows. Oh yeah. This uh -huh. was really cool. That wow. was yeah. amazing. <clears throat> He's just an artist, you know, and he just puts his complete heart and soul into whatever he does, like a child, just so invested. It was Really, we're really lucky to. Yeah, he's put out some that. some some interesting records that I think uh, you know people who only superficially know his work uh, mm -hmm. are, are are maybe not that aware of, but mm -hmm. um, some really some really great stuff. And now, of course, I guess that his sort of uh, departure from the Peppers was like that happened a while ago, but it only recently sort of came out that he was no longer officially part of the band. Mm -hmm. Is it? Was, I think they that, didn't. They weren't sure if they were going to even make another album. I think mm -hmm. so. They all, in a sense, departed in a way, yeah. even though they didn't. But there was just that unknown thing. And so he, I think, probably had made up his mind at that point. And as I understand it, Josh is now so, sort of real, officially even re in taking John's role in, in the Chili Peppers. Is that right? I mean, is it official or? Yeah, it's official. Wow. I mean, that's, the fact that you guys are so close to these two guys who sort of switched roles is a bit bizarre, no? It was all us. <laughs> yeah. The, the Yoko Onos. Of there's the no one better to <laughs> There's no. And either. I'm with Chad wow. now. It's my boyfriend. Yeah. Is that right? No, I'm oh, kidding. Okay. I, I believe Will Ferrell. He has a wife and children. <laughs> that, would, that would be a problem then. Um, but, uh, but you're not working with John on the, on the full length. That's, you can talk a bit about Tom, for people who don't know him, or Tom Biller is the most awesome zened dude. out person I've ever met. He's really just he's um. If people do know him, they might know him from his work with John Bryan. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. he just did the Liars or Liars new record, and the engineer that where the wild yeah are yeah he does uh -huh. a lot of mixing for you know sound like John Bryan soundtracks or he did the Carano where the wild things are. He's in a band. He has a baby. He's really cool. He's um, he's open and experimental, and it's really easy to work with. So, in our remaining uh, couple of minutes, let me just ask you about what you can tell us about the the full length and, and how it might for people who feel like they sort of know you guys from the from the from the EP. Um, any significant sort of differences and still six minute plus songs and. No, it varies. <laughs> yeah. we've, we've got Not that there's anything wrong with that. Yeah. 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 There's a bit of like hood rat going on. I don't know if that makes sense to even me, but. Gangsta? <laughs> there's just something like a little tougher and heavier, I feel. What, you know, that. I one punch. Well, also, <laughs> we, like, you know, that EP came out, or we made that so long ago, we've just had so much has changed, you know, just through, you know, when we made the EP, we'd barely even played shows before. Uh -huh. So playing. And for la you know, in a live setting, really, you learn how to bring the energy. Right. And I think that's really in the record. And Stella brings like the energy, you know. Mm -hmm. Also, play playing out live, you start to realize where, when you're doing something that's not necessary, mm -hmm. and 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 when to allow space for somebody else to come through and and have what they're doing heard because it best suits the song and so I feel like at, the, at this point for this album we're much more versed in 
in conversing with each other. Yeah, it's more of a conversation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> um, which is great. And uh, titles, is there a single title or a full length title yet? Or do you not? We, we, we maybe we, just said it. We can't disclose that information. Yeah. We maybe just mentioned it. It's a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. Oh, really? We maybe did. Oh. It's a riddle. Maybe, yeah. We'll yeah. It's a back. riddle. Yeah. I'll have to go back over that. <laughs> um, I missed that. Um, and then I assume that's going to be out late, in, late, later into the summer? I think August I heard 12th. August 23rd. Oh. So you'll probably you can probably wait till to go out back on the road until then, close to then. Or? We we have some shows. Yeah, we have mm -hmm. some a couple shows like a month. Mm -hmm. We're doing Lollapalooza. When is that? August. Mm -hmm. I think. And Bonner's, Bonner's in July, June. Or June. Europe. We're going to Europe in May. And like you said, some of the songs are already in the in, in the live set. Four at least. Yeah. Oh. Five sometimes. Well, we, we can name oh. those songs, surely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, we can name them. Jubilee, Jubilee, Jubilee Bees. Bees, someone else. Majesty. <laughs> we have, <Steve. laughs> we have um, <laughs> more electronic sounds on our al album this time. This is another difference from our EP. Mm -hmm. She's mm -hmm. been programming some, some bits. That was something you sort of just grew out organically or you said at some point, you know, we'd like to incorporate more of that. I think Definitely. we've all yeah. always been very attracted to that kind of yeah. music mm -hmm. and stimulated by it and so... We wanted to incorporate it mm. Yeah. Big influence. Well, I'm looking forward to it so much. I, I know it's going to another few months wait uh, to we're going to get to hear it all. And uh, looking forward to this too. So thank you again Great. for doing this. Yeah, we really appreciate it yeah. as well. Yeah, thank you. That's fun. See you soon. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> great. <laughs> <laughs> Movie Spots.